happy Monday. Woo Welcome to Intensati. My name is Lucy. This is Liv and we are bringing you an awesome series today. I'm going to give you a preview right now and then we're going to get into it. It looks like this. I have a vision. I have a vision. Great health, great wealth. Great health, great wealth. I want it for you. I want it for you. And I want it for myself. And I want it for myself. <laughs> We disappeared there at the end, but we're gonna show you all those moves and what they look like. We're so happy you're here. We're so happy you're tuning in. And we're so happy you're taking this time to move your body, move your mind, and move your spirit into a higher vibration so that we can create some energy today. And so that we can create a vision today that's gonna to last beyond this moment. And this whole series is about creating a vision and having a vision beyond your circumstances and regardless of your circumstances. And especially now, this feels really pertinent because all I can really do is think beyond my circumstances. <laughs> Excuse me. Because right now, I'm in one space. I'm with one person, not doing a lot, but I know that there's more for us next. And we don't know when next will be. We don't know exactly when things are changing. But we can still hold a vision for what we want today, what we want tomorrow, and what we want a year from now. And we can hold that vision no matter what's happening. And that vision doesn't have to be dictated by what we think is possible based on our past or what we're told is possible based on what's happening in the present. Our future is unwritten and we can write it now. So how it feels to me right now is I don't even know what I can plan for. There's a lot of things that are supposed to happen. We're supposed to get married this year. We're supposed to move to LA this year. There's a lot of things that are supposed to happen and we just don't know when they're gonna happen. So all we can do is actually be present. There's not even anything to like stress about, worry about, or try to plan for because it's out of our hands at this point, which is an interesting uh, gift if you look at it in that twist is that there's nothing we can do except be present and just be here right now. And in this moment, hold a vision for what we want next. And in this moment, hold a vision for what we want now. So here at Intensati, we're creating a vision. We're building a vision with our words, we're building a vision with the focus of our thoughts, and we're building a vision with the way that we move our bodies and the way that we empower ourselves to move into a higher vibrational state. Um, because we know how we wanna feel, but we don't even know exactly what tomorrow will look like. So it's up to us to hold the vision of what we wanna to feel tomorrow and make that happen for us today. Whether or not the reason why we want to feel that way has arrived, the feeling can arrive now. And we can hold the vision of what we wish to see in the world. We can self-regulate. We can turn certain emotions up. We can turn certain feelings down. We can do that with intensity. We can do that with this movement of mind, body, and spirit. And we can create a state within us. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to create a state. And I'm reading um, Joy of Movement by Kelly McGonigal. <clears throat> I'm almost finished and I'm really loving where I am right now in the book because she's talking about um, She's talking about exactly what we do in intensity and she's saying that if you move your body in a graceful way Your brain understands I am graceful if you move your body in a powerful way What your body concludes is I must be powerful if you move your body in a strong way Your body concludes I must be strong so we can actually tell our body what we are, we can tell our mind to tell our body what we are with our words and with the way that we're moving our body and using movement to create these states within us. And she also, Kelly McGonigal also says in this book that we're drawn to circumstances that reveal a new side of us. And that's why so many people are drawn to certain aspects of fitness that might be outside of their comfort zone. And for some people outside your comfort zone might mean tough mutter and like getting electrocuted. And for some people out of your comfort zone of fitness might be intensity, it might be vocalizing. So we're all drawn to whatever will reveal a new side of us. So let's think about that today. If this is your first day at intensity, or maybe you're just not in the mood right now, think about what different side of me is this bringing out and how can that help my ultimate vision come to life? What can I birth today within me that can help me birth something in my own life? And once you've sensed yourself as powerful, it changes the way you look at obstacles. So that's really, really what we're doing here. We're giving ourselves the experience of being what we want to be. Because then when we face the obstacle that's between us and that thing, we already know we can do it. We already know we can create those states and we already know we're powerful. If you're ready, give me a yes, yes. Yes, yes. You got it. And stand with your feet together. Feel grounded into the earth. Bring your shoulders back and down, opening up your heart. Ah, 
take a nice deep breath in and exhale. Beautiful. Now take your hands out and up above your head. And let your right and left hand meet above your head. Looks like that. And in this pose where you're closing the space between your right and your left hand, you're also closing the space between where you are and where you want to be. So let's now live in that space that our brain believes that we are grounded and that we are responsible. And mentally affirm, today I am responsible for my life. And today I take responsibility for my life, actively. And what I'm declaring today is that I have a vision for my life. And I'm willing to create it for myself and I'm willing to create it for you. This great health and this great wealth in all ways, far beyond money. We can create that vision today when we take responsibility for our lives. Take your hands to your third eye, in the middle of your forehead. Mentally affirm, today I take responsibility for my thoughts. I know that I'm a creator and my thoughts are the medium with which I use to create. And I can create whatever I want. So today I'm going to choose. Because whether I'm doing it on purpose or not, my thoughts are creating what's happening in my life. So today I'm taking the responsibility of that power. And I'm creating great health and I'm creating great wealth. And I'm holding the vision that it's coming. And that it's already here. Take your hands to your heart. Feel your heart beat beneath your thumbs and mentally affirm, today I take responsibility for my attitude. And I choose to cultivate the attitude that I want to experience right now. I don't have to wait for it to be given to me. I get to declare today how I feel. And I get to train my own brain to have the identity that I seek. Bend your knees, arms towards the floor, back is flat. Mentally affirm, today I am taking responsibility for my actions. I can take responsibility for what I do and what I say and how I interact with others. And today I'm taking responsibility with joy of the things that I do because I know that they'll be in line with what I want for my life, the thoughts that I think, the attitude that I have, and all these the actions that I take. Let's put those together. We go up for two, head, heart, floor. Breathe in and exhale. Every day, in a very true way, I co-create my reality. Say it with me. Every day, in a very true way, I co-create my reality. Every day, in a very true way, I co-create my reality. Just think it. No step to your right. Arms go up for two and down for two. Four singles. Four, three, two, one. Up for two. Down for two. Four, three, two. And we say, as above, so is below. This is what I know. Again, as above, so is below. This is what I know. Think it. Let's think it. We're going to go back in the top. We're going to sing it together. We say, every day, in a very true way, I co-create my reality. Step out. As above, so is below. This is what I know. Every day, in a very true way, I co-create my reality. As above, so is below. This is what I know. Give me a high five. Woo! <laughs> Give me a high five. I've been like high five this plant by accident the whole time. He's got to move. And meet me here. Meet me here. Meet me with some movement in your feet. A smile on your face. And follow after me. The first move is called commit. So we reach. Like you're raising your hand in class. Like you're saying that I'm here and I'm committing. And what I'm committed to today is a vision. And I'm committed to my vision with my whole heart. Not just because I think I can have it. And not in spite of what's going on. And not only if things go my way. 
and not unless someone says that I can, but being committed to a vision because you know that you can have it, because you can create it now, and you can create within you the feelings today. Shake it out. Let's get on the same page. Reach up, we reach. Yes, this is called commit. So the arms are reaching, legs jumping back and forth, smile staying on your face. Energy up. Now repeat after me. I have a vision. I have a vision. Now turn it up. Turn it up in your body. Turn it up in your mind, that picture of what your vision is. And bring something to mind. What is the vision of what you want for your life and for mine, for all of us? What do you envision for us? What are you creating for us today with your thoughts, your words, and your actions? Reach, reach. I have a vision. I have a vision. I have a vision. I have yes. A vision. I have a vision. I have a vision. I have yes. a vision. Yes. Eight, seven, six, five, four. New move. It's great. We're going to take this into a jack, a jumping jack with arms celebrating the greatness that's here today, the greatness that's within you now. Celebrating great health, celebrating great wealth. And notice there's nothing on the end of the sentence that says, but, or like, but not me, or but you don't know my circumstance, or no, but really like, my house is really bad, and I don't have any money, and I don't have any of this. That's not part of this. It's great health, great wealth. It's something that we're declaring, and it's something that we're calling to us now. Are you ready to call it? Yes, yes. <laughs> I thought you might be. Great health, great wealth. Great health, great wealth. Great health, great wealth. Great health, great wealth. Jack it out. Great health, great wealth. Great health, great wealth. Great health, great wealth. Great health, great wealth. I have great health. I have great health. I have great wealth. I have great wealth. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Commit. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Jack, great. Eight. Commit, I have a vision. I have a vision. Great health, great wealth. Great health, great wealth. Again, I have a vision. I have a vision. Great health, great wealth. Great health, great wealth. I have a vision. I have a vision. Great health, great wealth. Great health, great wealth. I have a vision. I have a vision. Great health, great wealth. Great health, great wealth. Just think it. Reach to your level 10. Make this bigger than it's been yet today. Embody it, the greatness, the vision. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four. You move. Start here. Point towards me. I'm pointing towards you. We are connected. Whether we can see each other eye to eye, we're connecting in this moment. So connect with me. I'm connected with you. And by connecting with each other, we're connecting with everybody else. Pull one arm back, other arm back. Speed it up. This move is called drive. Speed it up. It's like you're shooting yourself off like a rocket. Yes. Yes. Move Woo. your neck where so much of your emotions are stored. Your hips as well. See if you can keep that smile. I want this for you. I want this for you. Think of this as a move of giving. The move is called thrive. And what we're giving to each other is this sense that we can all thrive. And we can thrive right now. And if I wish anything for you, it's that your thriving vision comes true in your heart this very second and in your life when it's supposed to. So move and feel that thriving. I'm sending it to you. I feel it back. I want it for you. I want it for you. I want it for you. I want it. I want it for you. I want it for you. I want health for you. I want health for you. I want wealth for you. I want wealth for you. I want love for you. I want love for you. I want joy for you. I want joy for you. I want it for you. I want it for you. I want it for you. I want it. All right. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four. You move. Tap, cross down. Tap, cross down. Shoulder, shoulder down. You got it. Shoulder, shoulder down. This move is called love in action. This is level one. There are three levels to this move. Level one. Start to take it down. Touch the ground. Touch, touch, ground. If at any point the level we're showing is beyond your current level, you stay at the one that feels like a stretch for you, but feels safe for your body. So this is the level three. I know I said there were three levels. Can I add a fourth? This is level four. Feet together, down. Feet together, down. So jumping your feet in and out. This is love in action. Love in action. So think about being love. Not just reading about it in a book or a poem, but being the action of love. Serving in love and receiving love back. You got it. Shake it out. You got it. Go back to the first level. First level. Now take it up. Take it up to what you feel like halfway there. Like you're moving and you feel good, but you're not maxed out yet. So I want you to be able to repeat after me now. I want it for myself. 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 And this wanting isn't selfish. This wanting is actually a gift. Because when I'm healthy, when I feel great, when my vision comes true, I can serve tenfold. I want it for myself. 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 Now show me how much you want this vision. Take this to your level 10. Max out your love and action. You got it. And we say, I want it for myself. 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 Eight, seven, six, five, four, back to thrive. Eight. Love and action. Take it down to that halfway point. Touch your breath. Thrive. Love and action. Halfway. Halfway to your max. I want it for you. I want it for you. I want it for myself. I want it Turn for it up. Myself. I want it for you. I want it. Is your level myself. eight? I want it for myself. I want it. Level for ten. Myself. I want it for you. I want it for you. I want it for myself. I want it for myself. I want it for you. I want it for you. I want it for myself. I want it for myself. We give. Step side to side and give. Take the breath in, give that energy out. We're gonna go back to put all those four together. Commit to thrive, commit to great, thrive to love and action. Ready? Here we go, commit, reach. Great. Thrive, love and action. Tap, tap, down, tap, tap, shake it out. We're gonna put those all together. We're getting right into a level 10. We're getting right into your max effort. We're doing one round without affirmation, and then we're speaking from our hearts, from me to you and you to me. What is my vision and who do I want it for? Are you ready? Show me that you're ready. Let's do it. Count you in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, commit. Eight, seven, six, five, four, great jack. Eight, seven, six, five, four, thrive. Eight, love and action. Eight, seven, six, five, four, commit. I have a vision. I have a vision. Great health, great wealth. Great health, great wealth. I want it for you. I want it for you. And I want it for myself. And I want it for Level myself. 10, I have a vision. I have a vision. Great health, great wealth. Great health, great wealth. I want it for you. I want it for you. I want it for myself. I want it for myself. Shake. Do you have a vision? Do you have a vision? 
It can be for today, it can be for tomorrow, it can be for next year. Hold that vision in the center of your mind. We're going two more times, full out. Come from that place of that vision. Stand in it now. Call up the energies that you need for that vision now and be that you right now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, level 10. I have a vision. I have a vision. Great health, great wealth. Great health, great wealth. I want it for you. I want it for you. I want it for myself. I want it One for One more myself. time. I have a vision. I have a vision. Great health, great wealth. Great health, great wealth. I want it for you. I want it for you. I want it for myself. I want it for myself. Hold warrior. Warrior's arms out. Palms flexed. Back straight, knees bent. See if you can get lower. And lower. You're a warrior. You have a vision. Follow me. Arms down, arms out. Down, out. When you come up, I want you to say yes. 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 Say yes to that yes. vision. Say yes, yes to that you. To yes. health and wealth. Yes. Stay low. Yes. Three yes. more lower. Yes. Two yes. more. One yes. more. Take it yes. out. Woo! Yes. 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 Great job. Great job. Take your hand to your heart. Check back in with your heart that we touched base with at the beginning of class. Is she more awake than she was before? <laughs> Mine sure is. My lungs are awake. My heart is awake. My body is awake and listening. My body is listening. My brain is listening. And the input that I'm giving it is that I'm committed, that I am great. I have great health. I have great wealth. I'm committed to this vision. And I want this vision for you and all the thriving you can imagine. And I want it for myself to experience love in action. Close your eyes. Feel your chest rise and fall with your breath. And allow your inhales and exhales to lengthen, to become longer. And for you, have responsibility of how you feel for you to be able to regulate your emotions by either turning that volume up with what we just did or calming it down by slowing or breathing our brain is a supercomputer the supercomputer sends all the signals to our body what to do, where to go. But the brain of the heart, the heart itself, is what sends the signals to the brain. The heart actually sends more signals to the brain than the brain sends to the heart. So who do we think is in control of the supercomputer? Whose hands are on the keyboard? Who's inputting that code that moves our body? It's our heart. So with our hands on our heart, feel the gratitude to be able to change your state, to be able to change how you're feeling, regardless of what's happening outside. And let us start to notice as days go by that we actually have an effect on what's going on outside of us when we regulate what's going on inside of us. And let's not only not take this power and this gift for granted, let's use it for good. Let's use it for healing. Let's use it for inspiration. Let's use it to bring our vision to life today. Alive in my heart and yours, 
is the vision that we have for tomorrow. And that can't be written away, that can't be taken away, that can't be explained away, because it exists within us. So take a moment to think of a time when you were really happy really, really happy, purely happy. And even the mere memory of this experience can bring a smile to your face. Were you at the beach? Were you at a carnival? Were you on a Zoom and someone made you laugh? When's the time you were really happy? Happy, happy. Feel how your breath and your heart and your entire body responds to the happiness that you experience. And I don't know, but I would venture to guess that you're not at the beach right now, that you're not at a carnival right now. You're probably not multitasking on a Zoom at the same time, but you created the same happiness within you that you did that day. And what you're doing when you bring up these emotions and feel them again is you're creating coherence. Your organs and your cells are not separate entities with their own schedules and to-do lists. You're now coherent. And your heart is giving the signal to your brain, which is giving the signal to your body of where we're going next and we're in full coherence. And in this moment, we're choosing happiness. And in this moment, we're choosing the vision that we wish to see. And all it takes to recreate this is our own thoughts, our own words, and this body, this vessel with, with, within which it all lives. So take your hands with a pose of gratitude in front of your heart. And if you believe that you have a vision and that you have the ability to bring that vision to life within you, like you just did here with us today, bow forward and say, and so it is. And so it is. And so it is, guys. Thank you so much for coming. A big round of applause for you for showing up. We are here every single day. We've got 10 free live workouts every single week. We've got um, here on YouTube, Intense Sati, Intense Sati for kids, Intense Sati for teens, Warrior Sati, which is like kickboxing, uh, Dance Sati. And every Saturday we have a Zoom. So if Zoom was part of your like happy space, we have a Zoom with almost 400 people live moving and doing Intense Sati with the creator, Patricia Moreno. So stay tuned in to us here on YouTube. Um, if you want to find out more about anything else we're doing outside of YouTube, uh, just drop an email, your email here in the mm, chat or the comments. And we'll put you on the list and we'll get you invited to all these free things we're doing. We love you very much. Come back tomorrow at noon for Patricia's class. Every single day, Live Back Here teaches Thursdays, 9.30. She used to teach Saturdays at noon. She's moving to Thursday morning. So let's all show her some love at her new spot. Mary, it's good to see you. Ariana, Lisa, Bonnie, everyone else who's here whose name I can't see. My Aunt Sue might be here. Hi, Aunt Sue. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in live and replay. We love you all, and we'll see you very, very soon.